Hey guys, how's it going? So you want to learn how to put a custom font into Tinkercad? Well, I'm about to show you one of the easiest ways possible. What you have to do first is download a font. Now I'm looking at using this Minecraft font, Minecrafter. So what I did was I went to defont.com, search for Minecraft, and as you can see, there are several different kinds of fonts. So what you do on this site is on the right, you just click download. Once it's downloaded, you then need to unzip the download. Once you do that, you need to open up the folder that it's in. So I'm going to extract the files. Now I'm going to open the folder. And you see the TTFs. So TTFs are the font files. And you can right click on them and go to install. And that will install it on your local machine. I've done that with these. You don't have to do that though not to use the custom font and Tinkercad. So as you can see in the preview pane, it shows you the fonts. And I think I'm gonna go with this alt.ttf. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go to fontsquirrel.com. Fontsquirrel.com has this great generator. On their site, you go to generator, and then you need to make sure you select the expert option and you need to make sure you select SVG. If SVG is not selected, you need to select it. From there, there are no other options you have to worry about selecting. But what you need to do is click on Upload Fonts, go into the folder that your font's in, select it, and then you want to click on Open. And then if you scroll to the bottom of the web generator, you have to click Yes, the fonts that I'm uploading are legal. You don't want to be downloading illegal content. And then you click on download your kit. Once your kit is downloaded, you will also need to unzip the kit. So once you unzip the kit and you extract all those files, you'll want to open the folder that it extracts. And you're going to look for an SVG file. So I'm going to go ahead and extract these files. And I'll open the folder. And as you can see, there is a .svg file. Now from there, we need to go into Tinkercad. So in Tinkercad, on the far right, click on Basic Shapes and go down to the Shape Generators. And you want to select all. So that's going to change your shapes that are on the menu here on the right. Now, on about the second or third page, you're going to see the custom font text. As you can see, mine's already favorited, and I suggest you do the same. It makes it a lot easier getting to this. So you want to drag and drop the text over, and then as you can see, you can drag the file there, or you can click the choose. So I'll click the choose, I'll select the TTF file, from, or I'm sorry, the SVG file from the web font kit and then import it in. As you can see, now there is the text. So you can change it to however you want. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one.